Um, there was a call that came into the Watertown police, uh, three Boston police officers, along with state troopers and uh, FBI agents, responded to Franklin Street. Uh, a man had gone out of his house after being inside the house all day, abiding by our request to stay inside. He walked outside and he saw blood on a, on a boat in the backyard. Um, he then opened the tarp on the top of the boat and he looked in and saw a man covered with blood. He retreated and called us. Uh, we set up a perimeter around that boat and um, over, the, over the course of the next uh, hour or so, uh, we exchanged gunfire with the suspect who was inside the boat uh, and ultimately the hostage rescue team of the FBI made an entry into the boat and uh, removed the suspect uh, who was still alive in the boat. Can you talk about the imperative of taking him alive? Can you talk about the imperative of taking him alive? How, uh, how much... Uh, we always want to take all of the suspects part, alive. I, I understand that, sir. But can you talk about it in the context of this particular individual? You talk about accountability. Can you talk about uh, how you want to, why you want to take... We always want to take somebody alive so that we can find out what happened, why it happened, and we can hold them for justice. There was uh, the hostage rescue team actually uh, did work uh, in trying to negotiate him out of that boat. They did try to talk him out, although from what I understand, he was not communicative. Other people have also been taken in, in, into, into custody as well, reported. Have they aided and, and abetted the suspect? There's been uh, that. Uh, actually, I don't have that information. Commissioner Davis, can you talk about the suspect injuries? There are no other suspects injuries? out there that you've got your guy. This is it. Uh, I think that based upon our investigation at this point in time, the citizens of the city of Boston in this area can be confident uh, that that the threat has been removed.